Hi, I'm Allie, and I'm Living Chronic Faith. Thanks for stopping by. I want to share a verse of scripture with you today, and it was written by Asaph. Asaph was a Levite. He was one of the chief musicians in the temple, a worship leader. He was also an adjudicator when a legal matter was brought before the court, and he served as a guard in the temple. From the time he was born, he was anointed for this assignment, and he spent all of his time working in and around the temple. For someone who was as close to God and as anointed and appointed by God to do his work, you would think Asaph might be above some of the mundane day-to-day -day things that we all experience. But Asaph was quite human. He starts off the 73rd Psalm by praising God and acknowledging how good he has been to his people. But then in verse 2, we start to see the humanity peeking through. And he starts to talk about how he almost missed and overlooked the goodness of God because he was focusing on how the wicked were prospering around him. How people who didn't even acknowledge God, didn't serve God at all, were receiving all the good things. Yet he, who had served God all his life, was having some difficulties. And he began to ask questions like, is this worth it? Am I doing this for nothing? Does this even make sense? This doesn't seem fair. But after a while, he realizes that he has something that the wicked don't have. He has a hope, a blessed hope that he will be spending eternity with God. That this time on earth is so temporary but eternity is forever. And when it comes to whether I'd rather live luxuriously here now for a few moments, or whether I'd live, rather live in paradise with God for eternity, it's a no brainer, right? And so his conclusion is this. He says, my flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Very honestly, my flesh and my heart may fail. So he says that I may lose hope. I may falter in my faith. I may have a moment of doubt or two. He says, I may make a mistake. My flesh may fail. My body may not hold up. I may not be able to follow through like I want to. I might miss it from time to time. But God, two of the most powerful words in the English language, but God, it literally, they say when you say the word but, it negates everything you just said. So he says, my flesh and my heart may fail, but that doesn't matter because God is the strength of my heart. He is the one who builds me back up when life has torn me down. He is the one that strengthens and encourages me when I start to lose heart and he is my portion forever. I love that word portion because it literally means that as we're looking around at what everybody else has, all the resources that other people are working with, God is my portion. He is my substance. He is the source of everything that I have. And he is more than able to fulfill everything I will ever need forever. See, people may have things, and those things may seem like they're wonderful. They seem like they glitter like gold to us. But those things don't necessarily bring them peace. They may bring temporary happiness, but they don't bring that permanent joy that only comes from the Holy Spirit. Asaph says, God is my portion forever. He's everything that I need, and he will always be there for me to provide it. So I just want to encourage you today, whatever circumstance you find yourself in, whatever human emotions you may have been dealing with recently, I want to remind you that your flesh and your heart may fail, but God is faithful to be the strength of your heart and he is your portion forever. I love you, I'm praying for you, and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great one.
Living Chronic Faith is a faith-first community of believers living with chronic medical conditions and the loved ones who support them. For more support, encouragement, and resources, join the membership for free at www.livingchronicfaith.com.